I want to leave with a little tribute to Megan Rapino, the world's most annoying sports star who's now retired from international uh, soccer. Nobody wants to see you make the world a better place. And let me tell you what she means by this stuff off the pitch, is that now she's retired, now she says she wants to see biological males who've transitioned to be trans women play in the women's national soccer team. Not while she was playing herself, so they couldn't take her place. She wants it to happen. If that's what your contribution is to women's rights, because she's basically saying, look at me, I did all this stuff for women's rights. Now you've left endorsing something that would destroy women's rights to fairness and equality. That is your legacy. Anyone got a thought? Yeah, but um, <laughs> it's absolutely absurd to suggest. <laughs> political debate about trans people has become so toxic. So if Erling Haaland... feels like she right, has Grace. to step down right, in order to be a so full-time Erling campaigner. Haaland, Erling Haaland says, I'm a woman. He can play in the women's the team. Number of trans, the, women's team? the number of trans Alina. people Alina. that are going to be I, in I, this I position. It. It's, it's not going to... Oh, hang on, very it's important game. question. <laughs> Grace, can Erling Haaland, if he says, I now identify as a woman, play in the Norwegian uh, national he, he women's Manchester. team? You have just endorsed Erling Haaland playing women's football, which, of course, would destroy women's football. Congratulations. Women's rights nil. But look, look, look.